The scars on his body are the proof that the resurrected body of Jesus was the same body that was hung up on the cross and then placed in the tomb. In today's Gospel, Jesus appears before his disciples for the first time after his resurrection and the disciples were terrified to see him because Jesus had died and was buried on the Good Friday but now he stands among them and greets them saying, Peace be with you. And the Bible tells us that they thought they were seeing a ghost or a spirit. And then the Lord begins to speak to them saying, See my hands and feet, touch and feel me. I am not a ghost because ghost has no flesh and bone, but I have. Dear friends, Saint Bede writes that Jesus kept the scars in his body to wear them as an everlasting trophy of his victory over death and secondly to strengthen the faith of his disciples in his bodily resurrection. The scars on his body are the proof that the resurrected body of Jesus was the same body that was hung up on the cross and then placed in the tomb. So Jesus did not appear to them with a different body but the same body that was crucified to death but now raised in glory. Jesus has a glorified body now. The glorified body of Christ could simply appear and disappear to human eyes as he wills. It has no limitations. A glorified body is no more subject to hunger, pain or any sort of suffering for it has conquered death itself. And the reason why it is important for us to understand the nature of Christ's resurrected body is to know about our own future death and resurrection in a better way. When someone dies, we often pray, may the soul rest in peace. But we also need to keep in mind that we are not just souls. A complete human person is a composite of both body and soul. That is how God created us in the beginning. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states, all of us will rise again with our own bodies which we now bear. But Christ by his power will change our perishable body to be like his glorious body. So it is Christ who will raise us up on the last day. However, in a certain way, this journey begins in this life itself. We have already been raised with Christ because we are united with Christ through the sacrament of baptism. And so we participate in the heavenly life of risen Christ. And then we are also nourished with his resurrected body in the Eucharist when we receive his body and blood. So in the Gospel of John chapter 6, 54, Jesus says, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day. So we already belong to the body of Christ and our body belongs to the Lord. Therefore, my friends, St. Paul rightly says in his first letter to the Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, Do you not know that your body is a temple of God? Since our body participates in the dignity of belonging to Christ, this dignity demands that we should treat with respect our own body and also the body of every other person. The Gospel today calls each one of us to treat our bodies as a holy dwelling place of God and to use our bodies for the glory of God. We pray that the Lord may grant us the grace to be holy and pure. Amen. <laughs>